Hi everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, John here from Praetorian. Just a quick message to let you know about changes that have been made to the iOS software on iPad 13.4.1 um, and potentially onwards we think we'll have a slightly different menu set in and system so that when you plug in or connect any uh, joystick or mouse alternative uh, the default settings of the buttons are slightly different and the cursor is slightly different as well so I'm just going to show you with our new blue line um, how that's affected with the blue line and it's the same for any other joystick or mouse alternative um, so follow these instructions for the others as well um, and I'll list them in the uh, in the blurb so you can see which ones I'm referring to um, but yeah I'll explain how it works now in our previous video where we introduced Blue Line, we explained that you couldn't connect via Bluetooth as standard in the iPad as it didn't recognise it as a Bluetooth device. It does now recognise it as a Bluetooth device in the new update, but we'd still recommend that you connect it through assistive touch as we'd explained before so that you can customise the buttons as I'm about to show you because the default buttons are not quite set how we'd like them to be and how you'd probably like to function. In fact, the two buttons on the right, the middle and the right button, are completely cut off and don't have any actions or purpose at all when you connect in the new software. It is quite simple to change back, however, so I'll show you that how to do that now. But before I do so, you'll notice that in 13.4.1, it is also they've also created a slightly different mouse with a different look, different colour scheme, and quite small. You can change that by default again, quite simply by going into the settings accessibility then pointer control and you can change the pointer size to how it was before which is about that really um, or as big as you like or as small as you like now to change the settings of the buttons and adapt them back to the default the default functions of the blue line it again is quite simple you go into the touch menu assistive touch devices blue line and then you have this customize option and the customize option brings up a whole list for each button of different functions that you can select. You simply select customize, which button you want to customize, and then the function you'd like it to perform. In this case, open menu is open assistive touch menu. Go back, customize again for the third button, middle button and home, and then back. And then your blue line should actually operate as it did before, before the new update on iOS, where you've got the mouse um, scrolling around as normal. Left click selects an app and brings you into the app. Right click will bring up your assistive touch menu. And middle button should take you home. So as I said before, it's quite straightforward to set your blue line back up to the old default functions. Um, it's just within the assistive touch menu there and you can get it back to normal where your buttons work fine. Once they are done, they are, they are stored within the non-volatile memory so they won't be removed from the connection of that device. Every time your blue line connects to that device you've connected to, whatever you've set the functions up to, that will be what, what's already set. Okay, so hopefully that explains everything for you guys, um, but if there's any questions at all or if anything's unclear, do get in touch with us, usual methods, um, social media, email, um, phone, it's all on the website, it's all available via all the normal channels, so hopefully everybody's staying safe and we'll speak to you soon.